Today we're creating butter rolls. This is a quick and easy recipe. They're buttery, soft, fluffy, and delicious with every bite. Let's start baking. My ingredients are two cups of all-purpose flour, one stick of butter, one egg, one teaspoon of yeast, one cup of almond milk, unsweetened, a half a cup of water, one teaspoon of accent, and a half a cup of brown sugar. Let's start by pouring our yeast into a half a cup of warm water. Stir the yeast into the warm water until it dissolves. Set it aside until the yeast forms a top layer of foam. In a warm glass of milk, add in a half a stick of butter. Stir in the butter so it can dissolve easier in the milk. In a large bowl, pour in your butter and yeast mixture. Then add in your accent and brown sugar and mix all of these ingredients. In a separate bowl, crack open one egg. Briskly beat the egg until it changes its consistency. Then pour the egg into the bowl with the other ingredients and mix well. Gradually pour in your flour until all the flour has been mixed in with the ingredients. The more you continue to mix in the flour, the dough will start to clump up into one big ball of dough. At this time, you want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit.
Before you start kneading your dough, you want to sprinkle some flour down on your work area to prevent the dough from sticking to the surface. Start kneading the dough back and forth. Work your dough for at least five minutes. If the dough is too sticky to knead, add more flour and then start your kneading process all over. In a small bowl, pour in one teaspoon of vegetable oil to cover the inside of the bowl. While the dough is rising, the oil will prevent the dough from sticking to the side of the bowl. Put the dough inside the bowl, then cover it with a kitchen towel. Place the bowl in a warm area to rise for an hour. After your dough has risen for an hour, sprinkle a little more flour on your work area. Then start kneading your dough again for another 5 minutes. Now we are ready to shape our dough. Roll and press your dough out until you get it to the length that you desire. When you finish pressing your dough, fold each side inward. Then flip your dough over and cut it in half. With half of your dough, press it flat once more. Then fold each side inward. Pinch the seam closed to seal the dough and flip it over and slightly roll the dough into a cylindrical shape. Next, cut the dough into six pieces and start shaping your rolls. Shape a small piece of dough by pressing it flat and folding each side inward. Pinch the bottom of the dough, then flip it over to form your roll. Once your roll is shaped, set it to the side and follow these steps to shaping the rest of your rolls. Grease the bottom of your baking pan and place in your dinner rolls. Cover your pan with a kitchen towel. Sit your rolls in a warm area to rise for 30 minutes before placing them in the oven. With a brush, apply the rest of your butter on top of the rolls.
Place your butter rolls in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes or until golden brown. Now that our butter rolls are out of the oven, I'm going to apply some more butter. If you like this recipe, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit your notification bell and share my channel with everybody in your contacts. Bye.